We are going to uh, describe a process which uh, outlines the equipment that's required to use a Cyrex and the processes that you'll need to generate a suitable film archive for use in either teaching or examination. We're going to discuss firstly the hardware, methods for downloading the software, customization, finding films manually on the CD, anonymization of films, export or editing of data sets, and then subsequently re-importing those data sets. And finally, we will discuss the generation of albums to store films, the naming and nomenclature of the uh, films, and finally, some brief comments on the use of Excel spreadsheets to maintain a overview of the films that are present on the uh, uh, Osirix spreadsheet. Okay, so what hardware do we need to run Osirix? We need Mac hardware because Osirix is designed specifically to run with Macs and will not run with IBMs. There are a number of different options. The first is an iMac, which is a, a desktop Mac. This costs about a thousand pounds. The only issue with this is mobility. Um, the basic model uh, is usually sufficient to uh, run most of the, uh, the functions that would be required uh, with a Cyrix. The second option is a Mac Mini. A Mac Mini is uh, effectively a small Mac processor which can be linked to any screen that you may have at work but it will need a keyboard and a mouse and it may not be useful if you uh, wish to view your films uh, in transit, uh, on trains, etc. You will re require a screen at either end, either at home or at work to plug into this. But this is actually quite an economical way of doing it, uh, in as much as the Mac Minis cost approximately £600. Probably the most desirable uh, form of uh, Mac to look at a Cyrex is going to be a laptop and there are two uh, specific forms of lapbook, MacBook uh, uh, laptop. The MacBook, which is the basic form, costs approximately £850 and usually will be sufficient to undertake most of the tasks that you will, re uh, will be required when using a Cyrex. The slightly more powerful laptop is the PowerBook, which costs approximately £1,000. It should be borne in mind that as an NHS employee or as an educationalist, you are entitled to 15% off uh, the purchase price if you can provide the necessary proof of your NHS employment or uh, educational activity. Uh, the first uh, area we're going to cover is downloading a Cyrex. Uh, best place to start is on Google. Type in Osirix. And from the Osirix web page, you move down, and you can see that the new version is 3.8.1. The old version, which most of the examiners or the uh, Royal College have, is 3.7. I'm uncertain if they're going to upgrade, but the differences are very small. So for the moment, upload 3.8.1. You'll be given the option here of the 64-bit version, which you'll have to pay for. Uh, there's no need to go for this. Go for the English-only version and download. Having downloaded the Osirix software, you'll find it on the download page within the uh, desktop. If you have difficulty finding it because the desktop is cluttered, if you go to the window icon on the top bar, move down to downloads and click on this, it will bring up the, uh, the download uh, page, which will include the zipped file for Osirix 3.8.1. If you click on the uh, 
a zipped folder, it will unzip it. And if you then move across and click on the little yellow box, it will then give you the option of continuing to download the or install the software. Press continue. Continue again and agree. And then install. You will usually uh, have to enter a password uh, on your uh, Mac whenever you install software. This is something that will you will have uh, entered into the system when you were uh, first uh, started up. This is a sort of standard practice, so you just enter your normal uh, operator password. And having done that, the uh, installation should complete.